So many of you may have heard of the Twitter account Libs of TikTok. This is a great Twitter account. If you don't already follow them, I suggest you do. Uh, I've been following them for a long time. And all they do, if you didn't know, is they essentially copy and paste or you know download TikTok videos of like fringe far leftists. Uh, oftentimes, it'll be things like teachers that will go on to say how they're teaching their seven-year-old students how to insert things into themselves and like psychotic, crazy, like woke, cult ideological things that are, are very, very creepy and scary. And all they do is they share videos of the fringe far left that these fringe far leftists post themselves on TikTok. You know, they, they're not doing anything you know, wrong. They're not doxing anybody themselves. They're not even really criticizing these people half the time. They're just sharing these videos and describing what they are. It's like, oh, here, here's, uh, you know, a, a far leftist teaching kids, uh, to be more sexually, you know, uh, promiscuous at age eight and stuff like this. Right. Um, and so this is what the left is really upset about, and this is why the Washington Post doxed libs of TikTok. It's really kind of crazy, right? This is Taylor Lorenz from the Washington Post. If you haven't heard of her, man, I've I've talked about her on Twitter and Gab, but I haven't made a video about this woman yet. This is the one who fake cried on MSNBC a few weeks back. Ironically enough, complaining that she's being like harassed and bullied online by the far right and doxxed by the far right. Okay, so this is somebody who's well known to complain about the very thing that she did to somebody who wants to remain anonymous, libs of TikTok. So in this article published by Taylor Lorenz today, she published all of the information you could possibly imagine on libs of TikTok, obviously her name, her address, her employer, even her real estate license ID number, okay? I mean, it goes beyond doxing, what she did. And this is libs of TikTok who wants to remain anonymous. So this is the little guy as well. Like, it's just a normal person. It turns out it's like some Jewish girl in Brooklyn, New York, right? And this... Ivory Tower journalist working for the Washington Post thinks she's doing society some sort of uh, like like benevolent good, trying to destroy this person's life and get a whole mass and uh, crowd of of you know psychotic leftists to bully her and her family. Not only that, she showed up at libs of TikTok's uh, family members houses harassing her family members like this is like look at this this is what i'm talking about knocking on this woman's family members doors and stuff like that trying to harass her family just the utmost hypocritical bs so check out this video a few videos i'm gonna play a few clips of this very journalist going on to complain about the very thing that she did. And it gets even spicier, guys. Wait till you see this, how the Washington Post deleted half the article, not half the article, just a few links from it, and then lied about it. But anyway, just first, check out this hypocrisy. This is the same woman who goes on to fake cry and complain about the very thing that she did, okay, that she's trying to foster and garner against her so-called enemies, right? It's just unbelievable. I've had to remove every single social tie. I had severe PTSD from this. I, I contemplated suicide. It got really bad. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. And it's so isolating. And terrifying. It's horrifying. I'm so sorry. It's, <laughs> it's overwhelming. Sorry. It's really hard. Yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, it's so terrifying and horrifying. And online, online harassment is such a is such a it's such a misnomer. Um, I think it's a huge problem because um, you know harassment is is a is is a, it's a tool to silence people, especially women and people of color, or people mm -hmm. from marginalized um, identities, for speaking out. And like Jewish women, yeah. Libs of TikTok is some Jewish girl, so. <laughs> 
There's a very intentional like goal behind it. It's it's obviously it's death threats and all of that and rape threats on the daily. And it's not just Twitter. It's like every single surface, right? Like, you know, my cell phone number getting out there, people calling, people Ugh, harassing God. my family members, stalking me. Like all of that is incredibly terrifying and invasive. Isn't that rich? That's I mean, isn't that just rich? You know, the very thing she did. So not only that, so get this. This is this is where it gets outrageous, okay? What did the Washington Post do after all the backlash from Taylor Lorenz doing this? They post this statement, okay? Taylor Lorenz is an accomplished and diligent journalist whose reporting methods comport entirely with the Washington Post's professional standards. Chaya Raichik, that's libs of TikTok, that's her name, in her management of the libs of TikTok Twitter account and in media interviews has had significant impact on public discourse and her identity had become public knowledge on social, social media. We did not publish her link to any details about her personal life. Cameron Barr, senior managing editor, The Washington Post. This is a lie. I can show you, and I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to leave the link because you know what? The information is already out there. I'm not going to show it on the screen, but in the archived article that was snapped before they deleted the link that they posted in the article, they do post a link to Chaya Raychik. Is that how you say her name? I don't know. Yeah, Chaya Raychik. To Chaya Raychik's address, phone number, obviously first and last name, to her employer information, to her real estate license ID. All of these things were published by the Washington Post. They de they then deleted it from the article and released a statement lying, saying that they never published it in the first place when it's archived. You can't just delete things on the internet. It was archived. So if you click the link to the article for the Washington Post now, it won't be there. But if you click the archive link to which within the first couple hours of publishing the article, it was up. The link was there. Okay? It's right here. It's right here in like the fifth paragraph or something. Third, fourth, fifth, whatever paragraph. This, it, I'm not going to show it, but you know, it's there. I, I looked at all this person's information. Okay? Chaya Raichik's information. I can go, I mean, I could show you. I'm not gonna, but the whole point is like, this is a total lie. A hundred percent. And the fact that her information was public before, total lie. These people are snakes. These are snakes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> And they're such hypocrites. They're caught red-handed being not only hypocritical, but total liars. I, I just can't even believe anybody would believe these people anymore. At this point, I, I'm not... Like, like, if you understand and see the series of events that happened today, and even if you're on the other side of, like, the aisle, like, wouldn't you just, like, look at this and be like, how could you support this? This level of hypocrisy and deceitfulness, but people still do it. People still do. I, I just don't get it. And this is uh, some of the people that are supporting and defending the Washington Post are just outrageous. Check out this guy, Alex Thompson. I don't know. Who is this guy? I don't know. Oh, Politico. Okay, great. Uh, showing up at people's homes is standard journalism that more reporters should do. Like half of all the president's men in Woodstein showing up at people's homes. Bro, this is something you would do to like high profile public figures. Not to some like anonymous, like random Jew in New York who wants to remain anonymous, who's just a regular person. Like, there's a big difference between investigating, like, uh, I don't know, Hunter Biden and his associates or, like, somebody affiliated with, like, the Saudi royal family, like, a high-profile billionaire or, like, a political scandal with high-profile people in power or, like, a celebrity or something. There's a big difference between, like, exposing information about public 
well-known figures and or people in power and some average person who just so happens to honestly not even do anything controversial except post and re, like repost people that hang themselves publicly, okay? This is all libs of TikTok did was show how the fringe left was crucifying themselves online. No comment needed, needed half the time, you know? It was just like video. Psychotic person ranting about how they, they, you know, their gender changes every five seconds and they're teaching your children how to insert things into their anus. You know, things like that. So, you know, it's just out of control. It's out of control. Now, it's even more rich because this is what Taylor Lorenz posted. Let's see if you guys can see this. Can you see it? You can see it. This is what Taylor Lorenz posted just a few hours after posting her article after my whole family was doxxed again this morning trolls have now moved on to doxing and staking or staking <laughs> too much crypto talk guys doxing and stalking any random friend i've tagged on instagram they're posting their personal details of my friends and sending threatening texts with messages quote i noticed you are close to taylor lorenz oh the irony like do i really even have to elaborate on this she goes and she doxes libs of TikTok and then complains about getting doxed herself and her friends getting doxed after she just did the same thing to libs of TikTok to Chaya. Okay, so give me a break. These people are like, they have no self awareness. They're hypocritical scum and they need to be exiled from our country. I'm so sick of these people. So follow libs of TikTok if you haven't. Also, there's she has a link tree where she'll probably be banned on Twitter, so you can follow her. She has like an email list. Uh, uh, Gab, uh, of course, Gab will always be there. All of these things, Rumble, etc. And 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 I would suggest you do that because um, she does really good work uh, finding these videos. And now now she it's turned into more than just like her reposting videos at this point because. I mean, especially after this article, of course, it only garnered attention for libs of TikTok. And, and now uh, she just has such a huge following. So, uh, you know, oftentimes it's act, there's actual commentary involved. But this is what I'm talking about. Also, uh, follow me if you want to uh, keep uh, abreast with my work. Subscribe here on YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble. Follow me on Twitter and Gab as well. And if you want to support my work, I have a Patreon as well in the description box below. It's been press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.